Big Brother could be disguised as your insurance agent and watching your house. The Wall Street Journal is reporting insurance companies are actually using drones to photograph homes and without the owner's knowledge at that. And they can use those aerial images to ditch properties seen as being too risky. Our Stephanie Haynes joins us with more this morning. Stephanie, what are these insurance companies looking for? Hey, Marky, good morning. According to the Wall Street Journal report, these certain companies, insurance companies, are deploying these drones to look over maybe your roof. Maybe you have missing shingles or there's damage to your roof. Maybe you have a tree overhanging on a structure or even maybe you have a swimming pool or a trampoline in your yard that you didn't tell the company about. And then reportedly, they use those images to say that, hey, we are going to drop you from your coverage because it's cheaper or easier or even safer than sending an inspector to your house, according to the Insurance Information Institute. The problem is, according to consumer advocates, is that some of these images uh, might be outdated. So maybe you fixed your roof or you removed that tree. Um, or these images are not accurate. And so then it can be this process for the policyholder, the customer, to try to contest it with the company. This practice also prompting a discussion between, you know, what privacy the homeowner has, what rights they have, and technology advances. This is just a much more efficient way of capturing data. The drone technology is very highly sophisticated. It continues to improve and it captures the type of data that insurers need to make underwriting decisions. And here's the big picture. Weeding out risky properties through the visual inspection process helps everybody, meaning there's fewer claims. Uh, it comes at a time when data shows homeowners insurance is getting more expensive. According to a recent study by Policy Genius, premiums for homeowners nationwide went up more than 20% from 2022 to 2023. That's up from a 12% increase in the year before. The study saying that's in large part in due to supply chain and inflation issues, as well as severe weather events. You know, the insurance institute there that you just heard from saying that the inspector, the company, the insurance company does have a right to inspect your home when you hold a policy with them. But if they drop you, the customer, in most cases, should be able to see that report. Marky. I know the Wall Street Journal also reporting nearly every building in the country is being photographed. But uh, I imagine a lot of homeowners not taking too kindly to this one. Stephanie Haynes, thanks so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.